Chanel. What's happening guys, Joey and Tinelli here, and I did a little uh, tackle check for you guys at the beginning of the mullet run. Uh, but seasons are changing, so I'm going to do another one for you. I'm not saying the mullet runs over, because we definitely still have mullet moving around. But here we are. We are in Strike Zone in Melbourne, Florida, right on 192. The giant marlin up on the building chasing some yellow fins. Um, they usually got some stuff set up outside. But we're going to show you what we're using different this time of year. We're still using mullet for bait. We're going to show you different artificials. We're going to be throwing different stuff, not throwing the paddle tails or swim baits as much. Um, and what you need is they go catch redfish, snook, jacks, bluefish, ladyfish. There's a ton of action this time of year. And we're going to show you what you need for that. So hop on in there and uh, show you some of the different stuff. All right, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a fan of these swim baits, the spool techs and the hoagies and stuff like that. And they'll still work this time of year. You definitely get fish, but they're soft. And a lot of the fish this time of year are toothy fish, like bluefish, jacks, ladyfish, mackerel. They will tear those things up. And when they're worth it for snook, I'm not casting a $7 or a $20 lure to lose a tail in one cast. So we're going to switch it up and use stuff like all this. Spoons. You get the crocodile spoons, Clark spoons, all sorts of stuff. We got a couple of them pulled up here. You can go to the beach almost any morning this time of year and cast stuff like this and end up getting mackerel, bluefish, ladyfish. A lot of times you'll get them almost every cast. Um, that's the tsunami one. Just a couple of them. Lots of spoons work. These three are the ones I usually go with. Uh, if there are bigger fish around crushing mullet or bait pods moving down the beach, try throwing a hard plug, or a plug, I mean, instead of those sw soft swim baits. Here's the wind cheater, and this is a custom color, Strike Zone exclusive. They just had a bunch of these made. Looks yellow here, but it's really more of a chartreuse color. Um, the X wraps and the mag darters. Lots of other stuff works too. There's just a couple to get you started. Um, jig bites are good. You can normally get into some good jig action. They got tons of jigs here. Talk to Jim about that. He'll he'll hook you up with whatever jigs you need. Tell him where you're fishing. He'll get you on the right right weight jigs. And then there's people like me that are just gonna be throwing live bait. And I'm switching up my tactics a little bit this year or a little bit this time of year. I go from using the real light pinch weights like I used to use during the when the mullet first showed up. So I'm usually throwing egg sinkers this time of year. And there's two different style rigs. If I'm just trying to throw it out there, let it sit, and I don't need to go super far, I like doing the swivel, kind of like a modified knocker rig. There's two swivels and your egg sinker slides in between that. Going down to a 4-0 owner circle hook. It's got a little offset on that hook. They work really well. And then just match your hook to your bait size. Um, and if you're just trying to throw a real far out, like we are a lot of time at the inlet and just trying to catch redfish, let the lead slide all the way down to your hook and that makes it so all the way to the very end you can really whip that thing out there. It's not the best presentation of the bait, but still your bait mullet will swim up and let your, well, the lead will just slide around. So there's the hooks I like to use. Really any kind of barrel swivel works. And on the real calm days we will still use the pinch weights, but there's usually some rough surf this time of year. So that's it. Uh, get out there, try some different stuff, and you should get into some good action. We'll get into the video now. Alright guys, so I showed you the tackle we're using. I'm going to be throwing the mag darter first on a bigger rod because they're having some tarpon around still. And red tide's clearing up a lot, so if you're looking to do this guys on the beach, you can do it. You can get a fish almost every cast a lot of the time, so we're going to give it a shot now. Right out there we got us a feeding frenzy going on. I don't know if I'm going to reach it with that one. It's close, let's see. Oh man, look at those things. Blues. Dumped it right on the shore. We got, looks like a blue. Blue fish! In a perfect world, he would shake the hook right now. But that does not seem to be happening. 
why you've got to have pliers doing this kind of fishing. Otherwise you're going to end up with a treble hook in the hand. Got my Danko pliers. And sometimes I keep these things, but when I'm walking the beach, it's just too much work, too much stuff to carry. So we're just doing catch and release. Come on, get out there, buddy. There he goes. Matt Carter is proving to work. And with these, I mean, there's lots of different ways to work them. The bluefish, it doesn't really matter. I just do a straight reel with the rod tip down. And they thump it a lot of the time. Fish on. Staying down though, this might be something different. Maybe a jack, or maybe two bluefish. Oh, it's a bluefish. All right, throw the hook now. Got him on again. Another bluefish, this one hit really close to shore. Hey, if we were looking to get some bluefish to eat, we would have dinner already. Uh-oh, caught him twice. Another blue fish. There he goes. All right, so we got a couple blue fish. It was pretty slow though, so I'm gonna switch up and move around. Uh, that's something that's really helpful. If you're not really on a school of fish, just move. Go. You could go literally one mile and be completely different. So I'm gonna work my way south and see if we can get into them where it's more like an every cast sort of thing because that took probably like 30 casts for three fish which isn't really worth it so we're gonna hop in the truck and get back on it and somewhere else so we are using the gotcha plug here So this is the morning after that video. I'm heading back out, but I just wanted to say that it's a really fun technique to go try. Uh, if you're not, if you're not, never been into beach fishing or throwing the spoons and stuff, go do it. it it's every, almost every cast a lot of the times. Um, it's a good time of year for it. It's comfortable outside. It's not hot. So red tide seems to be pretty much gone in our area. Uh, 
get out there and give it a shot. Also, check out my website, h2ovinyldesigns.com. That's where you can order any of my hats or stickers. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.